people are going face to face with couples that they judged. And uh, our people over here that were judging so harshly, they didn't have an idea that the couples were hearing all the nasty comments that they were making. And uh, now these couples that were the target of all of that are here on the stage. We're, we're going to start with you, um, Vicente, um, with the comment that you made about Nalone. Uh, the comment that you said that he was dark skin and you were talking negatively about dark skin people and you said that he reminded you of a roach yeah a roach and that you're brown and he's dark yes when, when he I feel I mean basically I feel that he is using her as an accessory and basically when he gets her pregnant he's gonna leave when he when he what? When he gets you pregnant when he's gonna he gets leave. me pregnant as in a, you're assuming that he's gonna get me pregnant if you have a baby he's gonna leave what? And why is that? I mean, that's just, that's how I view dark skinned people because, I mean, media and everything, it's always a dark skinned person. Like in movies and stuff, dark skinned person's beating on the wife, he leaves, he doesn't pay, he doesn't pay child support. I mean, that's just my view about dark skinned people. And you base your judgments based on what you see on television and in movies. I mean, and some experiences with like story. friends and stuff. Oh. You know what aggravates me the most? <laughs> You're the same complexion that I am. <laughs> from or anything but you know I grew up in a lot of rough neighborhoods I've been around but I never let anything negative influence me um, to go the wrong direction I could have been easily influenced negatively but last year I achieved my bachelor's in chemical engineering I'm, I'm, in dark school. I'm, I'm pursuing my PhD in chemical engineering and there's a lot of other dark skin guys my cousin I'm pursuing my Woo! PhD And I know a lot of other dark skin guys that, that are in law school, that are in med school, so maybe you have to, like, you know, come with me and hang Go out with my your friends. Yeah. Yeah. When you just said um, maybe he should come with you and hang out with you, can yeah. he come and hang out with you right now? Because I think people need to see you guys <laughs> side by side to see the skin color. <laughs> yeah. so come over here. Yeah, you come here. I want you to see. You just scoot over. Now stand up. You stand next to him. You guys. I'm lighter. <laughs> crazy to me. Yes, there are so many different shades of skin, you know, especially with people of color. But but you guys definitely like have a, a very close similarity in skin. Believe me, honey, I'm the queen of makeup. <laughs> and I could use, a, you guys both could use each other's makeup. I would mix a little yours and his, a little yours and yours, and I could definitely get the colors <laughs> just with a little bit of different mix, meaning you guys are in the same family, and that's not a bad thing. You are a beautiful it, man it, it, with beautiful skin. I know. He, she just said he doesn't oh, like no. himself. I love, I love myself. I love myself. I'm a star. I'm a superstar. It's I okay. love myself. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. George um, said that if he ever saw uh, Jessica and Jessica, they're a couple, um, you would get them drunk and you would uh, try to sleep with them. Well, I think, I think actually, I would take the drunk part back, but they definitely try to sleep with them. They're both cute and I have vision, you know, like mental images, so. <laughs> Okay, the audience is laughing, but you're not. This is an insult. Not at all. Yeah. First of all, if a guy was standing next to me right now, you wouldn't say that. I love her. She loves me. And no matter what you say, like, that's just disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. Can I ask you, what made you guys become lesbians, or were you always lesbians? Nothing. I love, I love my girlfriend. I love women. I just am attracted to women, just like you are attracted to a woman. Have you ever been with a guy? I've been with a guy. Yes, I have. I did not like it. It's I. That's it. And um, yeah, there are many guys there that flirt and look at us, but we like girls for a reason. I think you should oh, take it as a compliment, not. though, that a guy finds it attractive and not. Uh, yeah, but it's disgusting. No, but you're not say saying that you yeah. respect their union. You're saying you want to do them. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, um, Christine, you said that Michelle's boyfriend Ryan looked like a jock and a cheater and a liar. Yeah, all jo all jocks are sluts, cheaters, and liars. It's a fact. Oh, it's a fact. <laughs> it's a fact. How is it a fact? How yeah, is where do you get that from? Because I've been with her for two years and I've never cheated on her once. Because my best friend, her ex-boyfriend, cheated on her. Is she he is her. he your best friend's boyfriend or is he my boyfriend? Yeah. All people are different. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, um, Julie said that Dave and Allison that you guys look like drug dealers. Just the guy, actually. Oh, just the guy. <laughs> um, he, he looks like a drug dealer? Well, not honestly, an artist? I mean, if you saw someone like yourself out at a club, 
would you think that they were a drug dealer? Just, I mean, like, honestly, for real. If I, I know I'm not a drug dealer. But if you go out to clubs and if you look I at people myself, no, that I hang out in clubs, that, <laughs> if you go out to clubs and hang out, you'll see that that's a lot of times what they'll look like. They who have said that, that they, look, they have that style? Who, so who said that they look like they were rebelling against their parents? Who said that? You said that, <laughs> Kathleen, that they look like just like losers. We're best friends with our parents. Yeah. My mom and I are best friends. I call her like every single day. We live within blocks of our parents. And tell them uh, what you're at, what you're doing right now. Right now I'm a college student. I'm about to finish my associates in liberal arts. And then I'm going to school in the spring for a veterinary technician. And you thought they were slackers. Stereotypes, stereotypes, <laughs> stereotypes. I know a lot of people that go to we're college that are drug dealers. We're extremely anti-drugs. We've we actually dropped school. friends of ours <laughs> who we've known since forever the because image. they started doing drugs. We're talking about an image. We're going to uh, come back and uh, right. speak to the audience again. I know you guys are nipping at the bud or jumping at the bit or <laughs> slopping up the whatever <laughs> to talk to them. We'll be right back.